Hey everybody! I was just practicing doing up some buttons. Sometimes they can be kind of tricky. Have you ever done up any buttons or maybe a zipper or had to tie your shoes? They can be a little tricky, so it's good to practice. I was practicing my buttons here, pulling them through the hole. When we have buttons on a shirt, one side has holes in them and the other side has the buttons. To put our button through the hole, we open it up and push. Then I like to pull the button from the other side all the way so that you see the whole circle. You wanna see the full button on the other side. And that way, it won't come apart. Let's try this one. This big orange button here through the hole. Pull all the way through, just like that. We want to make sure we get all the buttons. Don't miss one. Let's get this last one. All the way through. All right. We got all four orange buttons. Then to take the buttons out, do the same thing backwards. Pull on the button, push through the hole all the way so it comes undone like that. Now zippers can be a little tricky too. Let's practice a zipper. And when we have a zipper, one part goes up and down and to start we want to get that part all the way down to the bottom. Make sure it's all the way down. Then we can take the other side and we put it in the hole like that. Make sure it goes all the way down. You might hear a little click. Then hold the bottom of the shirt and gently pull the zipper all the way up to the top like that. Then to take it off, I like to hold the top and pull the zipper all the way down. Sometimes it can get caught. And that can be a little tricky. And when you go all the way down to the bottom, pull, and it comes right off like that. Yeah, it takes a little bit of practice, but once you get good at zippers, it's very satisfying. Now what about tying your shoes? Hmm. Have you ever tied your shoes before? The laces can be pretty tough. We got some neat purple shoes here with some cool laces. One is green and the other is white. I'm gonna show you how I like to tie my shoes. So I cross one lace over the other to make an X. Then one of the laces that's on top goes underneath through the hole and I pull to make a little knot. Then take one side of your lace and make a big circle. It's like a big hoop like that, kind of like a bunny ear. Then the other lace goes all the way around. And I keep my thumb around the hole so I know just where to push the other lace through to make another loop. Then gently pull. And that is how you tie your shoes and then they'll stay on your feet. Let's try it again on this one. So to start, cross one lace over the other. The one that's on top, this white one, goes underneath and through the hole. Then pull to make a knot. Take one lace, make a circle, and hold it with your two fingers, your thumb and your pointer finger. Take the other lace and wrap all the way around in a big circle then push through the hole like this. Grab onto that like you're pinching something. And then pull gently to make two big loops and a knot. And that's how you tie your shoes. It can be a little tricky, but the more you practice, the better you'll be. So keep practicing with tying your shoes, those buttons, and those zippers, and you'll be ready in no time.
See you soon. We hope you liked that video. We'd love it if you would subscribe for more songs, crafts, and activities in Katie's classroom. We have lots of fun. Woo!